I tell you, I have never in my life been more rushed than I am right now. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. You're not centre. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a very cute little get ready with me because it's my cousin's bridal shower today. Slay. So me and my sister are going. It's spring, summer themed. I'm not too sure what that means because I either have summer clothes, which are the stuff I wear on holiday, or I have England clothes. So I've just gone for a bright coloured top. That's all I can really offer. I was hoping to have like questions for you guys and stuff, but apparently I have beef with everyone I know because literally no one helps me. I ask my YouTube for questions. I ask my Instagram for questions. I got one question total. So, so now we will have beef. I have beef with all of you. I think my sister literally just got home. The bridal shower starts at four and it's half three and it's about 20 minutes away. So we're obviously not getting there on time. But you know, we can only do so much, like it's not our fault. Should I make this like a glowy makeup look? My bridal shower glowy makeup look. Step to step, step for step, step for step, or step to step, step for step. Oh my God, wait, What's, what is the phrase? A step, a step by step, step by step tutorial. So I started off with the Hello Good Stuff Essence Primer. It's the hydrate and plump one. That's always good for a good like base, especially for glowing makeup, it's good for a good base. I'm now going in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter. This, wow, what's my hair doing up here? Like, get out my face. This is in the shade, shade five medium tan, because the one before this, I don't know if it's shade just called shade five, or like shade four, whatever, I don't know what the wording is. But the one before this didn't make any difference, so it wasn't matching my face or my body. I'm gonna blend it in. I finally wet my sponge. If you've, if you've watched my videos, you, you see I always forget to wet my sponges, but, I finally wet my sponge and I'm blending it out with this marshmallow sponge. I think that's what they're called. My sister got me this for my birthday. I just love this um, e.l.f. Halo Glow so much. I keep using it instead of foundation. Like a lot of people use it underneath their foundation. But I've never been like a massive foundation girly. And now that I've got this, like this is literally what I use. Say hello to your new sister. This is your new sister. Haven't named her yet, but she's my newest... Um, big girl accessory we can thank my boyfriend he got it for me for my for our five-year anniversary slay came with the matching earrings and bracelet it's a emporio emporio amani i don't know how to pronounce it the amani brand jade is gonna walk in any second hello hey i don't know what the hell i've just put this on look at my bed i don't know what to wear i don't know what i'm wearing yeah that's nice it's all that it just doesn't really scream bridal shower. So I sort of, I, I started a vlog this morning and I scrapped it because I was in so much of a bad mood. But now I'm doing get ready with me, so I guess say hi. Hey guys! I'm making it more of a makeup tutorial video instead of a get ready with me because apparently everyone hates me and no one gives me questions to ask, I mean answer. So this is Jada, if you don't know, but you probably do. You know. Mmm. They just taste like Starburst. Our mum got us these, let me show them. These sweets from Croatia, they're like Starburst. Video for this. Okay, so now that the I feel like you're not crooked. I mean, center again. I feel like you're not center again. So now that the base product's down, I'm gonna start going in with my all my cream products. So for a more glowy look, you should definitely stick to the cream and liquid side. Some powders to control like extra shine, but you really should be sticking to your creams because they just are glowier, obviously. So the first thing I'm gonna go in with is for a base. I'm just gonna go in with this She Glam blush in the shade wild love i like this shade it's very like subtle and natural when you blend it out also how the hell do you use these brushes i don't know like, i don't know like what do you actually do with it i don't know how to do this i just start doing it a little bit and then i just use a sponge and i'm just going to start blending it out with this random primark sponge and i think i said it doesn't what i think i said this in my last video but with my blushes i like to blend them this bit of hair i like to blend the blush like really under my eye i just feel like it just gives off a really cute sun-kissed look. And I do my blush first because I like to conceal after and it makes it look 10 times more natural. If you can see how out of control my eyebrows are and my upper lip, mind your business, please, because it's not my fault. I was meant to get them done and I forgot to book. So at least I got my nails done, at least they're cute. And I got my armpits waxed, so you can't say I've done nothing. 
time to eat this Croatian Starburst. Next, on top of that blush, I'm going to put on the e.l.f. Halo Glow blush. This one. Rosé You Slay, that's the shade. With this e.l.f. blush, I struggle to blend it out. So I just dab a bit on one cheek. Use my finger to kind of just blend it. This one, this blush specifically is really shimmery. Because it's part of the glow range. So it's a really good base for your highlight. But also, it really adds to that glowy look. I will go in with a sponge as well. So it looks like that. Like a little bit crazy, I know, but trust me. Just trust me. Blend it. Just kind of pat, like pat it in to the face. And also for this like bridal shower look specifically, because it's summery spring vibes, like it should be, I should be pink and glowy and rosy, you know? I don't know how much you can pick up on the camera because I'm filming on my phone, but my face because there's no powder at all right now my face it's very very glowy like the, the light is just bouncing off it next i'm gonna go with the elf halo glow beauty wand the contour one this is in the shade tan deep so what i do is i put a little bit under the cheekbone like that both sides and then across the forehead i don't know what's going on there but i think i'll start blending with this Techniques blah, 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 Real Techniques brush. This is a sculpting brush. I'll start blending. I can't speak. I'll start blending with this for a more precise, like, for more precise control. But then I'll go in with the sponge if I need to. I love how it looks on the forehead. It look good. Like it literally looks like I've just been in the sun okay my eyebrows are just really mortifying so i'm just gonna attempt to gel them a little bit this is the collection vitamin fix brow gel honestly i need a new one i need a better brow gel so if you guys have any recommendations let me know like let's be here for each other please help me out at least now the hair's all going in one direction next we're going to go in with the elf hydrogen camo concealer the satin finish one in the shade light peach i also say this every time but this one is my favorite favorite and i put a little dot in the inner corners honestly you don't i don't really put it anywhere else but i like to put a tiny bit just to brighten up the forehead as well for like spot concealing i just use this random collection lasting perfection concealer <gasps> in the shade beige eight this one's actually really old i should probably get a new one I have, I have some random, my dad is screaming. I have some random spots for some reason. And then I'm just going to blend it all out using the same Primark sponge. Also, I don't know how people stay looking cute when they're blending out makeup. The faces I make are a little bit scary. When I'm blending my concealer, I'm like pretty precise with it. I like to start blending heavily in the inner corner. And then using the bits that are left on the sponge, I like to go up like in a line upwards because it just lifts the face up and just blend out my forehead a little bit with concealer you, you want to make sure i mean it depends on the concealer you're using some doesn't dry up but you want to make sure you don't leave concealer sitting for too long because then it dries up and it's really, really hard to blend and then it ruins your base. Just to set my concealer, I'm going to go in with the Collection Vitamin Six well, look, Collection Vitamin Fix Blurring Setting Powder. I think blurring setting... setting I, why am I struggling to speak? I think blurring setting powders are the best ones to use for a glowy base. Because it's not too mattifying. It's just more... I can't open it. It's just more of a, it just looks more blurred, not necessarily more matte. Like it just blurs it all together. So using my little powder puff, I'm just going to go in. I'm not like too precise with this and I don't use too much either. Because you don't really need much. And then using this big brush. It's just a sun kiss one. I don't know what it's for, just some powder brush. I'm just going to brush off any excess powder. 
there we go so now it kind of like it's it's set the concealer where it needs to be but my face is still like my face is still glowy it's not just powdered everywhere right next step next step to keep this face glowy as glowy as possible is we're going to set the liquid blush but we're going to use this sleek brush palette blush I get my words confused. I'm getting mixed up between blush, brush, this blush palette. It's a sleek one. This is in the shade Rose Gold and it's very, very shimmery. I don't know if you can tell. It's very, it's very shimmery and pretty. So I'm just gonna, with my little sun kiss brush, go over. Don't need to be too precise because it's quite subtle. Like it's not gonna look overpowering. It'll just bring that blush back to life after being hidden a little bit by the concealer. You see that? Like, that looks so cute. Then we're going to actually go in with our first layer of setting spray. This is the e.l.f. Dewy Coconut Setting Mist. And again, another big tip, Dewy Setting Spray is necessary for a glowy look. So that's our first layer on, we're going to just fan it dry a little bit. Next we're going to go in with our highlight. So I think I'm going to use this e.l.f. one in Moonlight Pearls. This is like pretty old now. They probably still sell it, but I don't actually know if they do. This one is like my favourite one. If I'm not using the e.l.f. one, I use this Makeup Obsession Mega Lighting. I haven't used this in a while. Should I? No, no. Stick to the theme. I'm going to... This, the rose gold just will bring the whole look together. Using this random Technique brush. I don't think this is for highlight. This is a contour brush. Oh, well. Just put it on top. Like, keep it as high up as possible, but, like, on top of the blush and on my cheekbones. Putting a rose gold tinted highlight over a rose gold blush just makes it, like, pop that much more. And it also brings that shine back as well. It brings that glowy look back without it. Like, because it, it's not... I don't, like, so obviously have highlight on. But you can see it in the light and it's just it's just a perfect amount of like subtle glow i love it and of course we can't forget the inner corners and the brow bone to bring some of that warmth the contour bronzer look back because remember all we've used is the contour the elf contour so we're gonna bring it back a little bit with a bit of extra warmth with this B BH, BH, BH Cosmetics Weekend Vibes Belgian Waffle Palette. So cute. I love it. And the shades in here. So there's bronzers and highlights. And it's all very shimmery, glowy, like really cute little shades. So again, this one really helps with a glowy look because it just gives off the illusion of glowing. It doesn't mattify because it's shimmery. So I'm going to go in with this middle shade, Batter. <gasps> ah, this middle shade here the top middle batter i'm going to go in with this with my studio london brush i don't know what it is and i'm going to pat over where the contour went and can you see like straight away it's brought but brought back that like definition but it's added some warmth to it and then some on the forehead as well we're nearly done guys we're nearly done we're going to go in with my mascara this is just the mua Amplify Statement Lash Mascara. This one's really pretty. It really makes your lashes so long. Look how pretty is that mascara. I love it so much. It's so nice. I'm not too sure what I'm doing for my lips. I'm not very good at lips, to be honest. I'm not very good. I think I'm just going to stick to like the pink theme. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Revolution Baby Tint. It's a lip and cheek tint in the shade Fuchsia. Fuchsia. Don't know. And what I do, it's very pigmented. You don't need a lot. I dab. I dab like three dots on my bottom lip. Two on my top lip. This is just the method I've learned that works the best for me. Then using my finger, I'm just going to literally wipe it in, like blend it in. See that that's like a base now and it's like it's very dry and mattifying it just sticks to your lips because it's a tint it just it just stays there and then i'm just gonna go in with this revolution pout bomb lip gloss 
looks like this it's nice and juicy i'm gonna lightly go over try not to transfer all the pink onto this there we go juicy i'm gonna bring this with me as well we're just gonna finish it off with the last layer of setting spray the same one they are typic that's typically the setting spray I use, but I have a few more. I use this one. I was actually using this one a lot until I got the other one, but this is the Barry M Dewy setting spray, and this works just as well, but it's just more of a harsh spray. Like the mist isn't, it's not misty, it's more like water droplet. So it's like not as easy to just dry out, and I feel like it disturbs the makeup, but it still works really well. I've got this one, which I haven't tried yet. This is the Studio London You Do You Do You setting mist. I'm excited to try it, but I'm going to wait till I finish at least one of these because I can't just open every single thing I have. But yeah, guys, there we have it. Um, here is my finished makeup look. I really wish my hair was done. I really wish my hair was done. But I'm going to get my sister to curl my hair a little bit. Nothing crazy, just a, just a few curls. There's no point in putting effort because my hair doesn't stick. Nothing holds in my hair. But here we go. Here is the finished look. I hope you like it. Let me know. And I hope um, and I hope you liked the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what other videos you'd like to see from me. It would really help me out. Help my help my cute little channel grow. You know, it's growing, but very slowly. So help help out. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video.